All right. Played against Nathan, and he's got probably like a Tihan Ancestral Awakening Google Torin. I'm going to keep and you um, go no first more. if you want. Okay. Okay. Uh, here you go. All right. Let's draw a card. Not a turn one quest. We'll just go Tabard's Pass Back. Pass Back. And I'd like to taste whatever he does here. Taste it. If it's an equipment or something, I'm definitely tasting it immediately. Just don't want to fall behind. We can put a Signet in, force him to deal with that. Signet tokens are real bad versus Squall and Wavestorm. Uh, here you go. Wow, he does nothing. Okay. Well, now I want to... Well, let's just pay two, and I'll put a Signet in play. We will play a Signet. Pass back. One of your favorite Shaman All-Stars. Sure. Okay, well, um... Face down. I'll put that in in a moment. We'll wait for our opponent to Thank play the go. game. Let's make a guy. Uh, Naga. Okay, we're going to make a 2-2 Naga Mage. Nice. I like the token. Yeah, need to get need to get one that's actually with the you know that looks like a little mini version of her. That'd be fun. But we'll get there when the budget mm -hmm. stage is okay. <laughs> uh, this is turn three, so I can Death Scrounger leave up counter spells, or we can Nether Attunement leave up counter spells, or put a Kill Rock into play, or we can just go multiple allies that he can probably just scourge away. Is that bad? Yeah, I think I just want to put the Death Scrounger in play. I like a big dude like that. I'll put a Death Scrounger in play. Pass. He's ready to scrounge. Okay. <laughs> well, dang it. I drew two cards. It's cool. Just put it back. Oh. No worries. Yeah. All right, um, Dark Spear. Hey. Um, kill your ring. Hey. Can't do that. <laughs> oh, wait, I have a response. Sorry, I'm just sitting here. Uh, I'm going to taste you when you play your guy. Oh, duh. Okay. That's it. And you take Mighty One. <laughs> uh, we'll take another, put another dude into play. Take two. Make a Naga. Draw a card. Draw like another card. Get in for five. I think I like Nether Attunement first. Let's see what we can find off that. Let's do a Nether Attunement. See what's going to happen. Spin the wheels. <laughs> no bad choices here. Oh, man. <laughs> you know what Nether Attunement likes to do? Let's Nether Attunement. Okay, Nether Attunement number two has given a... Oh, dude. You know what Nether Attunement likes to do? You know it. Let's go with the Nether Attunement. Those water elementals are so shiny, though. They are. They are. Okay, Nether Attunement, what did you find me? Oh, don't reveal everything. Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put this ice barrier into play. That seems good. All right, now I think I'll just put a kill rock face down. I don't think he's going to be super useful. I got other ally generators in play. His tempo's so bad. I'll pass back. So I can complete this at instant speed. 
I could have completed worthy for okay. one, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, I could have drawn two off worthy, but I want to leave up fizzle since I have a five drop next turn or a sweep your board next turn. Got a lot of damage in play. He's got multiple engines he has to deal with. This is technically an engine. No allies in here yet. I'm going to pay to reveal 15. And pick the best. Yeah, right. That's good. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're like, put a totem in play. <laughs> <laughs> the one card I've played this game, I didn't interrupt it. So. Hey, threats are strong. Was was Jade Fire worth playing out at some point? I mean, obviously leaving up the taste was the right play there. Keeps our engine in play. And if we ever draw the Naga thing, then all these things are going to be huge. Immediately I can pump this guy to swing for a bunch. So it's going to be like squall or die type of situation for him. Okay, are we going to fizzle this? Mm, we can't. All right, so I get to lose my... All right, let me think ice here. Barrier, there... My ice barrier does a ton of damage, and then I can just frostbolt volley this thing away next turn, and then we get to Pythus to draw back. So this is giving us board presence, but this does a lot of damage, and I like pressuring my opponent. I think I will lose the signet here. Signet down. I get to yeah. choose, so I will lose the signet. Um, Let's draw a card with this quest. Ping you for five. All right. Go to 12. All right, so I think we want to attack for four, and then these... I might leave back so that his wave storm doesn't damage them. And then we can just Pythus, draw some cards up, or we can Frostbolt Volley now, clear this thing off the board. That's our turn, though. We pay three for that. Then we can maybe complete a Worthy of Passing. Got to do some strange math here. I think it's Attack for four, okay. Volley, and then we have one, two, three, four, five. So we have to play a resource in order to get the worthy for two. It'd be one, two, three. Volleys for three. So one, two, three, four, five. Resource six. That lets us draw the most. Yeah, we are pretty susceptible to Wavestorm at that point. But we still have an Ice Barrier ticking and other cards coming in play later. Alright, let's Frostbolt Volley you for four. Pressure is life total significantly here between these frost spells. Ouch, okay. So I got to uh, 16. Get in for four here. Okay. All right, All right, he has it. So now the worthy play is not so good. Now we can complete worthy for one. It's worthy of passing. Draw a card. Pass back. Now a wave storm bounces my ice barrier. Really set myself up uh, poorly there, but I have a fizzle for the wave storm. So I get to hopefully keep my board and my uh, lethal ability in play. So uh, pretty much love to fizzle anything here. I don't want to lose all of my tempo. Opponent's got 13 health left, and we have five. Uh, Another six on top of that, so we're doing 11 a turn. It's working out here. Just control elements, and then Pythus will draw us quite a bit when we get to that point. But I'd, we've drawn this fizzle since the beginning of the game. I'd like for it to be impactful. It's not going to hit Ancestral. That card's good. Uh, Ancestral Awakening? Yeah, that card's good. Okay. I mean, he might do it for Wavestorm. I wouldn't... Wouldn't be surprised if that's what he puts into play here. But there's a number of cards. I don't know, he could do like a data act or something. Kind of needs to try to heal heal himself back into this one. It's not a Yulon. He's on six resources. 
So Ice Barrier gets to live. I don't know what he's going to find. Maybe a Chigi? Yeah, Chigi's pretty good on this board. <clears throat> it's Nash. All right, so... Alright, so, uh, Nash. John Cena music. <laughs> okay, he's got one health. Yep. Oh, five damage. Okay. Um. Alright, and then he's gonna pay two. Go ahead and cast Chain Purge as well. Oh, he had it. All right, fizzle the purge. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was never gonna happen then. Here you go. Five you. Right. Twenty-one. It looks like we just pythe this here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to complete. All right, the storm here. Let's just pythe this first. See what we can do. Is that better than going four drop? Yeah, because then I can exhaust myself and this ally so this guy doesn't get to attack, and I just keep pinging him for five. Yeah, that or I just play a three. I mean, he can attack and take off one counter. Well, who cares about one counter? That's not significant. Let's draw some cards here. That's why this card's in the deck. Let's draw some cards. Okay. Ah, great. I don't need that many Pythuses, but we got them. Why not? Pass back. So we got threats and we got a nice barrier. So your deck does uses T hand, not not the Aura Stone Hammer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was just trying to save space. So instead of running like the Erlen package, west. So you might be even more consistent there. All right, so this guy has one health. He can attack for four. He can kill anything here or take off a trigger for my Ice Barrier. Ice Barrier is like the win con right now, so he needs to do something about that while we just keep... This is a three for one. Every card needs to be like significantly impactful. Might be like a Yulon. Uh, maybe a Moscow. Okay, okay um... a GG. It gets to heal a little bit here. And then next turn, this Naga Siren is going to make this GG never be able to attack again. Huge that he gets to heal his Nash up, though. That's real bad for us. I'll go ahead and uh, take out your Dream Fire Scout. Heal four. Okay. Well, I need to find a way to deal with that. Um, Which, th this is our plan. Counter off your barrier. Yes. All right, we can go Water Elemental into 4-drop. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Cheapest cards cost 4 and 3, so we do not have enough to turn on Eye of the Storm. All right, you took your 5. We can go ahead and get in for another 3, hit him for 3, and then we able, we'll be able to Naga Siren off this Chi-Gi. Oh no, I won't be able to because he can eye the storm now to prevent that action. This is interesting. Okay, there's a stabilization potential. Mm -hmm. So water elemental dies to both of these. If you played three more frost cards this turn. One, two, yeah, I'm not going to play three of these. They're all expensive. Maybe I just draw another three. One, two, three, four... Five, play another big thing that draws a bunch of cards. Try to find some burn or something. I don't know if that's good enough. Yeah, these cards are so expensive. Oh well, let's let's draw while we can and see if we can't find an answer out of this. Okay, let's draw some more cards. Aha, a spell suppression. I like that. So let's put this face down. Alright, we're going to resource here. Then we can spell suppression this Chi-Gi. 
or spell suppression this eye of the storm so it can't be used anymore. All right, let's attack your hero for three. Um, in response, I had a storm. Okay, now that's happened. Now we can spell suppression his chi -gi. I'm going to spell suppression your chi -gi and pass. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, now this is good. Now it leaves his eye to protect our own board. Now that he used up his eye, this Naga Siren is going to be able to control the board for a while. Chain Purge is pretty bad here, but we still get to eye, so he basically just passes his turn, and we get to attack for six and another five. So we have lethal on board. Opponent can pay three to draw three, and probably not going to be able to eye again this turn. Okay, you got it. I could have spell suppression as dark spear. Maybe that would have been a better play, because I have eye for the chi anyways. anyway. So that's a huge potential misplay here, because I can get chain purged or uh, wave storm totem would be pretty annoying here. A lot of ways I get punished for this. When I could have just spell suppression the draw three resource, that might have just been the the play. But I'm the one with all these uh -huh. threats in play. This is just a four or five. Has no text. But I'm going to eye the storm it regardless. When I have so much pressure in play, I'm happy to do that line. Okay. We're going to Tihan. Are you going to ping me or ping a guy? I imagine he's just going to knock a counter down. Another one. Uh, oh, damn. Yeah. Um, target your... The hero. Okay, it's happening. Is he going to Valera? Okay, I'll go on your hero for four. I the storm the board. Like... Of course. Okay. Now that's bad. Oh, yeah, I can't get a barrier, so I'm just dead. Yeah, we got, what, 11 here in play? 5 plus the th 6. Yeah, I mean, you might have Squall. So we 5 you from the barrier, then I attack, see if th that does anything. Should place a face down resource first, so I can draw 3 for 2. D live in the dream while dying. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so I can draw a squall totem and stop the attack. Oh, okay, two ways let me just put this down. face up resource <laughs> in to tease. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, this is what I drew next. I had turn too late here. Useless. Could have used this ten turns ago. Okay, that's the ancestral okay, package. Yeah. I like I like Rexar right. and Chigi. I don't know if you've tried that. Yeah, I think he's probably more consistent overall. Um, and then you have two two ways to toolbox. Yeah, it's just card advantage, and like they have to deal with this four four along the way. It really slows down the two mm -hmm. threes and three threes. Well, Gigi, I hope you appreciate it.